Help support AMTV by becoming a patron, an AMTV staff member, and following us over on Twitter. It's that time of year again. Christmas has arrived on our television screens, and you know I'll always have my eyes open for the festive idents that inevitably appear on our favourite channels. Being the flagship for the corporation, BBC One draws particular interest, what with its rich history of Christmas idents and its prestige as a channel in general. So for 2023, just what could they showcase to viewers that would captivate and knock their socks off just in time for the big day? Well, it's one of those rare occasions where we have a mix of the old and new. This year's batch were created by Magic Light Pictures and animated by Red Star. They contain some faces you may well recognise, particularly if you've enjoyed the animations that premiere around Christmas on BBC One. With that, let's take a look at the first of the new idents to debut, which we'll call The Gruffalo's Tree. Doctor Who Ghosts the Tourist, kind of tradition to take the highlighter to the Christmas listings, looking like an iconic festive season here on the BBC. So, shall we get things underway then? A wholesome start to the season. The Gruffalo and his child are no strangers to BBC One, having been the stars of previous idents some years ago. This one is entirely new, showcasing the child having fun in the snow before rolling down the hill into some kind of snowball hybrid, barreling towards his father's tree which by the looks of it, he's been spending a lot of time working on. To avoid the tree being ruined, the Gruffalo catches his child in a flurry of snow before the pair laugh at the shenanigans. This ident in both tone and execution are positively typical for what we've come to expect from BBC One in recent years. Idents with a fun, simple story meant to evoke some joy and some laughs and ultimately to leave you feeling good and happy, the right kind of feelings that we all wish to have at Christmas time. The animation itself is great, the same high standard we see in the animated specials produced by Magic Light. It's smooth, nice to look at, and ultimately honours the characters they portray, whilst instantly catching that Christmassy feel with the vast snowy landscapes and decorated tree. It's a solid start to the 2023 festive season, but as I said at the start, this year is a bit of a mix. Whilst three new idents have been produced, there are also three idents that are returning to wear, having first been used and seen back in 2020. So let's take a look at the first of these, Christmas Tree. What a picture here, eh? As mentioned, this ident first made its TV debut back in Christmas 2020, which this clip is sourced from, if you couldn't tell from the BBC One logo. It remains unchanged in its 2023 incarnation, as the camera slowly zooms into the decorated Christmas tree sitting amongst a snowy forest, one that could definitely be the same setting of the Gruffalos that we just saw. One element that I think rings out more than anything, however, is the music. It's a pleasant little tune, one that perfectly complements the gorgeous visuals that we see before us. This sequence is likely used as a simple placeholder ident, perhaps before news programmes, but as we've discussed many a time on this show, sometimes the simplest of idents can be some of the most memorable and impactful. I wouldn't say it's one of the best ever of this kind, but it's a pleasant watch nonetheless, and would you believe it, it has a variation, also making a return from 2020. This is BBC One, now with the latest news, Katya Adler. Small change, nice difference. There's not a great deal of differentiation here, the main element being that we've been transported from daytime to nighttime. I'm a sucker for nighttime vistas, and this ident does benefit visually, I'd argue, from the darker aesthetic that's presented here. My main gripe with this one, however, is that the music remains the same. Now, it's a great piece of music, don't get me wrong, but I think when we do day and night variants, the music should, or could at least, arguably change to match. We could have even had the same tune delivered, but perhaps in a more stripped-back, gentler manner. Nighttime during Christmas can be something quite magical, especially when the vast amounts of snow are lit up by a dazzling Christmas tree. Even something similar to what was heard in last year's offering, more haunting soundscapes, that would have worked a treat here. There is one more 2020 ident that returns to the airwaves this year, but we'll cover that a little bit later. For now, let's have a look at the second of the brand new sequences to debut on BBC One. 
I present to you, Santa and the Sticks. <laughs> we were treated to another Doctor Who 60th anniversary special earlier tonight, going unleashed behind the scenes of Wild Blue Yonder at 11.35, with the wintry weather causing just a few sporting issues today. How do they make these so damn cute? Magic Light has such a positive reputation for delivering animated specials that delight the whole family, and the same goes for their festive idents. We see Stickman and his family meeting Santa, who rummages through his sack to present them all with presents. When it comes to the youngest stick, they are shocked and elated to see that theirs is the biggest present of all. So big, in fact, that they can't quite hold their balance when holding it, the gift seemingly burying them in the snow. Not to fear, though, as the little stick jumps back out, surprising everyone with a little ta-da. The premise is silly and wacky, but again, how can you not smile at something as wholesome as this? A family coming together to receive presents from the big man himself? Now that's pretty magical. I'm not overly familiar with the Stickman story, but if it's anything like this ident, then I could imagine it would leave me smiling. The wintry, snowy landscape we see is once again reminiscent of what we've already looked at today, which does make me question if we're simply just reusing assets. Not that that's a major criticism. Animators always hold on to what they create as it could be useful in the future, but because Christmas landscape like this can be so ubiquitous, it does start to feel a little samey after a while. But on the whole, I'm glad that the Stick family got their own ident, one that I'm sure will present some laughs and definitely some smiles. Now, before we address the final new ident, centred around this year's new animated short, let's touch on a familiar face returning for 2023, Zog. An interesting premise, but one that could have been expanded. Again, like with Stickman, I'm not familiar with the Zog story, but I like the way that the characters have been designed, and the adventure-like spirit that I'm getting from the sequence. We see Zog and friends flying about, with the false suspense that a Christmas present will be dropped and lost, but of course Zog is able to double back just in time for the humans to catch it, before they fly off into the distance. The first major props I want to give to this sequence is the music. I like the more bold and brash sounds we hear, it really feels like we're gearing up with Zog to go on some kind of adventure. It gets you pumped up, ready for the program that's coming, and it enhances the moment when the present is dropped and then caught. But on that point, my main gripe would be, after that moment passes, the rest of the ident just sort of fades away, just like Zog in the distance. With the boisterous music, you definitely could have had more things happen in the sequence. Not even perilous things, but just more action shots, if you will. I totally understand that animation is expensive, and considering this is just a 30 second ident compared to the 30 minute shorts they produce, I'm not docking anything too harshly. Great to see it get a reprieve in 2023, but if I'm honest, with what's presented, it's not a Christmas ident that's going to stick around in my mind as much as some of the others. Not a bad ident, but far from one of the best. But now, it's time to take a look at our third and final new ident for BBC One at Christmas. Featuring the star of Magic Light's brand new animated short, Tabby McTat. Welcome to Sunday Afternoon on BBC One. David here live with the festive family film. A cracker of a comedy. Dreams can come true, especially at Christmas. Okay, cuteness overload. What do people find cuter than cats? Well, hardly anything if the internet's anything to go by. And we see Tabby McTat and family having a snooze underneath the Christmas tree, before they're awoken by the youngest having a climb, almost reaching the star at the top. Whilst reaching, they fall to the ground, but are quickly amongst the rest of the family, resting and showing us the importance of being together at Christmas. The first point I really want to address is a little Easter egg. You'll notice that one of the ornaments on the tree is of the Gruffalo, a nice little link between the author of both that and Tabby McTat, Julia Donaldson. It's so nice to have an indoor setting for a Christmas ident. As great as the snowy outdoors is, nothing can scream Christmas like being inside all cosy, surrounded by the light of the tree. The animation style for this feels familiar, but also new, what with the adaptation being a premiere on Christmas Day for BBC One. The way the cats move and interact with one another seem well researched, and as expected, are really quite cute to watch. I suppose it isn't giving too much away regarding the story itself. I mean, just read any synopsis and I'm sure you'd agree, nothing in this is really spoilery. 
If anything, this also feels quite like a placeholder in nature, as after the young one falls, we're treated to the same shot. Not that this needs to be action heavy, far from it, but I must admit, a small part of me perhaps was expecting just a little bit more from the premier new ident of Christmas 2023. But like all others we've viewed today, it's by no means a bad ident. It's cute, wholesome, focuses on family, which at its core is one of the key elements that we all like to remember, indulge in and celebrate during Christmas. Overall, the BBC One slate of idents for the 2023 festive season has been interesting, to say the least. I have no issue with older idents making a return, and considering they make use of Magic Light productions from the past, it makes a nice cohesion to the overall package. The new idents, on the other hand, just seem to go off and build on what came before, creating short but fun sequences featuring some unique children's favourites, with no real sense of threat or anything negative, just a wholesome little story that is designed to make people feel good and capture the Christmas spirit, which all of them do in some way, shape or form. Is it the best set of BBC One Christmas idents ever? Absolutely not, not even from the last few years I'd argue. But in terms of what they need to achieve, they don't miss the mark, and I'll be delighted to see these characters appear on my screen this Christmas, as I'm sure many millions will be, right across the country. Thank you all so much for watching this episode of the Ident Review. If you enjoyed it, please remember to like the video, subscribe to us here at AMTV, and let me know your thoughts on the Idents we've looked at today in the comments down below. Until the next time, see you later. Thank you to all our patrons for helping to support the show, and a special thank you to Macra, Ben Freeman, Ethan Carberry Holt, Bruce Danton, Globe of Reviews, Derek Chambers, Sean Nock, Dord Khan, Liam Demain, Trev Hughes, Carl KR, AJ Mac 200017, Daniel Middleton, Deck KP20, and Simon Harrison, our AMTV staff members.